Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the new poster that was released, a new photo that was released, and some new information. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this is a double upload today, hopefully you liked the video earlier today which was on the flash and this is sort of because there is news that I can talk about, I'm going to do a double upload because I haven't uploaded in three days so you know to make up for it. So hopefully you enjoy this. So let's talk about the first topic and that is of course the new poster. Man this poster is really cool, I really really like it. There is a few blemishes but apart from that which I'll obviously discuss in this video, this is a really nice poster and this gets me very very hyped for the new season and for the first footage that is obviously not Comic Con footage which should come out in the next week or so as I've been saying. So let's talk about this first. So we get this sort of team up poster as they quote United We Stand that is the sort of tagline of the poster and so it's just to announce yeah Supergirl's coming back and they are sort of amping up their marketing for the return, which will obviously lead into a trailer in a couple of weeks or so. Okay, so first things first, we've got this amazing centerpiece, which is obviously Kara's new suit that is in heavy focus. It looks awesome in this poster and Melissa's hair, so cool. I really, really like this new look. I know not everyone's feeling it, but some people are really high on it and I'm really high on it right now. I think... It looks really good. Like I couldn't have asked for a better upgrade because I love the past suit and I love obviously her hair because we're so used to that. But man, this look is really, really fucking cool <laughs> and I'm a big fan as I've been saying. So yeah, you get to see Kara in the middle as Supergirl in the normal Supergirl pose. She's got the fist clenched and it very much so highlights the suit like I just said and you really get to see you know all the details because it's all shining and yeah so surrounding Supergirl we have the main team members of team Supergirl this season which is from the right and we'll go round to the left which is obviously anti-clockwise but who cares we have Kelly and so Kelly's going to be a pretty big thing this season I think she's going to be even more in focus this season than last I really liked where they ended off with Kelly especially with Alex giving Alex and more stuff to do rather than just being a DEO. I was really invested by the end of the season with their relationship. Although I love Alex with Maggie, I think this is good for Alex's character. And so looking forward to seeing more of Kelly this season. Going up, we have Lena Luthor. And I think Kelly's pose and Lena's pose is actually a new photo that they've taken. Obviously, Melissa's is new as well. And so we see Lena. She's just sort of staring into us, arms crossed in a sort of very Lena-like way, very confident. And we go up, we see this repeated photo of Martian Manhunter. This was on a past poster in season two, actually it was. So they obviously weren't able to do, you know, a new photo sort of rendering of Martian Manhunter because that takes a lot of time. So they took it from a past photo and same thing goes for Brainiac. I do believe we've seen this photo before. I could be wrong with Brainiac, but 100% Martian Manhunter. That was on a season two poster. So we see Brainiac. He's obviously got his blue skin. He's got the white hair. He's got the Brainiac symbols. We haven't seen that in a little while. I think he used it a few times last season, obviously for ease. So they don't have to put Jesse in you know, the makeup and everything, every episode, you know, every day when they're filming for, you know, nearly the whole length of the year, like, I don't know, like eight to ten months or something. So, yeah, I reckon, I think I recognize this, but it could, I could be wrong. Okay, so now let's move across to the left. We have Alex Danvers. I'm pretty sure this is a new photo as well. Looking really cool. She's obviously got her sort of super suit on from the DEO which is cool, and we go down, this is probably the one blemish, it seems like they really photoshopped McCard's face, his face looks really skinny, I don't know, it kind of looks out of place, maybe if you zoom in it looks a bit better, but from out here where I'm looking at it, like a full poster look, I feel like they photoshopped him like the hell out, like 
his face. I don't know, it looks kind of weird from back here. But apart from that, I think they've just blended two different photos together. Okay, so we move down, we see Nia, so she's in her suit. I don't think it's anything new, you know. It's a new photo, it seems like, because they don't recognize it. However, I don't think there's, like, any alterations to her suit, and it kind of looked like in a past photo that they've altered it a little bit. I'm not sure, though. I could be totally wrong, so correct me if you know the answer. Okay, so I really like this poster. I do like the addition of the lens flares, the blue lens flares going all across, and I think it looks really cool with the Supergirl logo in the background. Very, very excited for the season. Now let's move on. We've got a new image. We've got some new quotes coming from IGN. The article will be in the description below. But this photo is an exclusive from IGN. And this is sort of following on from the photos we got the other day. With them all in the auditorium, the theatre. And so we see in the background we have Alex. She's in that same attire. The very smart and formal attire. And she is finally not wearing the DEO suit as per usual like... I'm pretty sure 90% of her scenes last season were in the suit, so it's really nice to see that she can just do something. She can be a human rather than just work all the time. So looking forward to seeing more of normal Alex with Kelly. Okay, so then we go on and behind her we have in the aisle we have Jean. He's in a very formal looking attire, well wear, and I'm guessing those two are actually there together attending some sort of performance and then whatever happens here happens where they face off against the villain for the last time. So they actually confirm this is the last fight scene in the episode, so episode 1. So they obviously go to the theatre. It remains to be seen whether Kara, Nia and James actually go, but right now they have their suits on. So I know Supergirl can get changed really quick, so I'm potentially thinking that Kara was actually at the performance but I'm not so sure that Nia can do it that quick and also well James is sort of wraps around him so maybe James could but I feel like it's those two for now definitely obviously Alex and Jean but we move forward we have Nia she's in her suit we have James back as Guardian so there's going to be some Guardian action in episode one and we have Kara as Supergirl and Melissa is super girl, obviously, and she's in her new suit, new bangs, looking really good, like I said, really think it suits her sort of super girl look, and I'm very excited to see this scene because it is the final battle against Midnight, who is the villain in episode one, and they're in a very confrontational stance, all five of them. And so let's move on to talk about some of the stuff in this article just before we head to another piece of information. So this is coming from IGN. So they got to speak to the showrunners, Robert and Jessica. And so remember, episode one is titled Event Horizon. I don't know what significance it is. There is a film called Event Horizon. There is lots of stuff called Event Horizon, but whatever, we'll have to wait and see to see that relevance. And so if I move down the article, we get some talk about Leviathan and what's happening with them. So. The original incarnation of the group, it was portrayed as a terrorist organization, well, cell, run by Talia al Ghul in the comics, with a new version currently fueling a DC Comics miniseries called Event Leviathan, and neither Robert or Jessica were able to comment on whether we might see characters like Talia al Ghul or Jason Todd appear in Supergirl, but Rovner did say that the Arrowverse version of Leviathan draws inspiration from both comic book incarnations. So that's interesting that they're going sort of for a mix of those two different versions. And it sort of leads me on to this new quote. They said, we're really using canon as our inspiration for our version of Leviathan. Although some elements will tie into the latest incarnation of them, we're really kind of inventing them in a way that serves our Supergirl storyline. So I have no doubt it will be kind of similar to some of the Leviathan storylines in the comics and, you know, running right now in the comics as well. But I think it's going to be very much so just to do with what they have planned for Supergirl. So I wouldn't expect too much comic book stuff to do with that. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. 
subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.